I'll make them remember they're only human. Yeah, um, I definitely think his strong suits are going to be uh, being able to reposition uh, with his teleport, whether it be your uh, your two basic teleports and then your ultimate ability. Obviously, his flash is really good. It's like the best support flash in the game. I think it's better than Breach and Sky Flash. The only thing is that you only have one flash instead of three. And his smokes are really big. Like, they're the biggest smokes in the game. Uh, you can create consistent one-way smokes with them. Um, they're really good to play in. So if you need to play like a bomb site uh, anchor, and you can smoke the site off for yourself, and you can play around them, it, it's, it's really good. I also really think he's a... Uh, very strong on the attack side for creating um, a sense of paranoia and when you just make like audio cue sounds like people actually get paranoid about where Omen is and so I think that adds like a level of uh, uh, like mind games. Using your smokes is probably the best thing about Omen. Um, even though his flash is really good and people say like it's the best thing about him, I, I agree with that but I also think if you know how to use your smokes you, you can make your teleport, you can make your flash, you can make your ultimate like um, even better. You know, so you can use the smokes to help create like a false cover is what I like to call it. Where it's, it's, it acts like a wall, but it's not a wall and you're using it only to isolate your duels. I think that's also really good for, uh, for aspiring open players to understand that you're not just using smokes to just deny vision, but you're also using it to help you fight, you know, bypass other players to you know, take your 1v1s if you need to, if you're clutching. Um, make it easier for your team where, you know, you can play off contact off somebody and you just burst out of your smoke. Because a lot of times people think like, oh, this guy messed up his smoke. But in actuality, like, because it's so, it's not normal, they, they immediately assume that. So you automatically have the advantage when you just have like a random smoke. So get better at using your smokes. And if you learn your one ways, you'll get you get so many free kills. If you don't know where to smoke, just smoke the common angles. I'm gonna use bind for example, where if you hit the A bomb site, you always smoke heaven. You know that's a very common position. And if you have a if you have a team comp where you have like a jet or a raise where they can dive in, you probably don't want to smoke U uh, U haul. You probably want to smoke like the deep spawn angle where the pipes is, or you want to smoke showers. So those are like the common smoke angles that you need to know and just, you know, good running down the list, you know, like make sure you know at least those. So that way when you do like take a bomb site, um, you know, you have smokes to, to create delay and they can't just like get free kills on the rotate. So using your flash, there's so many times where people um, think that they'll get free kills. Just like peeking a guy, um, you know, like if you're a bind and you're a defender and they're coming up long B and you're just dry swinging it like what like why like it's a perfect spot for you to flash and you just peek so anytime you have a, a flash you like always 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 try to emphasize like peeking with a flash and then if you do see the situation where like hey I'm stuck in a position use your teleport always emphasize using your teleport instead of uh you know relying on a teammate because you can be pushed up somewhere and realize like oh you know i'm in a bad spot and you can immediately teleport out and i think a lot of omens make the mistake of uh i'm stuck here and they just proceed to stay stuck don't go for the flex ninja play uh, i see that a lot <laughs> everybody will do like the flash omen tp play um you really only do that if you have like a hard read and that's where I think like a lot of omens kind of mess up on. So try not to do that as much. Um, it's really good if you, like I said, if you mix it in with everything. So you have like a smoke down, you flash, and then you omen, omen teleport. That That's okay. So as long as you kind of have a good read, you know, by all means go for it. But I would, I would stray away from that play. Unless you're a flex ninja yourself, you know, you can go ahead and keep doing that. And then number two is they'll play like they're an entry fragger and they'll just immediately die. And I'm not saying that you should be a, a hardcore baiter, but you should sometimes, you know, not feel like you need to go first because you you have very great supportive utility within your flash and using your smokes to execute with. And if you're the main smokes character on your team for that game, then you can't afford to be the first one dying because then it becomes a lot harder to close out a round without your smokes. Try not to die as early in the game as possible. Then also, a lot of people misjudge the Omen Ultimate. A lot of times people are like, oh, but I, I missed my cancel, uh, and they'll just die because they teleported for information. Um, 
you can or you can just be like me and you don't really use your ult for information like i just think that's not great value but if you do uh, one thing i like to do is uh, when you spot an enemy out make sure you ping it in your omen ult so that way the moment you ping you don't need to like vis visibly and physically stay in your your porting animation you can already cancel it because you have enough information that you need already people haven't really like tampered with the um the omen ult like noise and the audio cues it makes so it makes a sound when you pop your ultimate but they don't actually know when you cancel it um so if you ult from the same spot and you're standing right next to me and then i cancel it you don't hear me cancel it going back to the same spot and so i think an example was uh when i played against tsm on ascent i was back b side alone and i told my team that i'm going to play for the killjoy counter and basically all i'm doing is i can ult out of the killjoy ult so i don't get detained and then i cancel it and uh they, they were just like three guys in my face and they didn't know that i i was there because they thought i just left but if i cancel it he, he has no idea because it makes no audio sound so i was just behind like wardell for free i killed him i think i killed color and Hayes, and that was the end of the round so that's all for today let us know which agents you'd like tips on next as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe Good luck in your training.